Hi everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. And I want to say welcome to my new subscribers who took a chance and hit that subscribe button to my channel. And I just want to say thank you and I really do appreciate you guys, all of you, all of you. And I hope I don't let you down. I hope you like what you see. And if not, all is good. That's my model, all is good. But anywho, today I'll be trying on a new brand for me. It is by Profusion. Here it is right here. This is the Mixed Metals Eyes and Lips in the shade Peach. And this kit has a nine shade eyeshadow palette, a matte lip liner, a metal matte lip cream, and a blending eyeshadow brush. And I found this at Target. You know, I was walking down the aisle and I saw this section right there, all with the Profusion uh, products in there. And I saw this and I wanted to try it. And this is a new brand for me to try. And this kit right here cost $10. $10 for this. So I wanted to give it a try. And I can't wait to try the shadows and the lip cream and the pencil and the brush. Okay. <laughs> here is the eyeshadow palette right here. And it comes with nine shades and there is a mixture of mattes and metallics. That's a really nice heavy palette and, and it does come with a nice size mirror. Really nice. And the pans are really, really big. You know what, let me swatch a couple just to see what they feel like. Let me try this matte shade. Ooh, it is kind of creamy. There's that one here. Let me try to swatch that. Let me put that on my arm. Okay, it's more of a skin tone. We'll see if it can be built up. And that's this one right here, outgoing. This one right here. Let's try this metallic shade. They are very creamy and soft. That's a pretty one. That's a pretty one. That metallic one was certain. And let me try crimson. This matte shade right here. They are really nice and soft and creamy. I really like that. And this one here is crimson. All right, all right. We're going somewhere here. And here are the swatches on my arm. The first one is Polite, Wannabe, Ecstatic, Outgoing, Certain, Outspoken, Crimson, Bordeaux, and Special. And it also comes with a brush, a blending brush. So we'll see how that works. Okay, that's really nice. And also a lip pencil and a lip cream. And the shade name of this one is Matte Peach and Metal Peach. Let me swatch these two. All right, here's the matte pencil, the matte peach, and the metal peach, the lip cream. Oh, that would be pretty. I can't wait to try that. All right, let me go ahead and put some tape underneath my eyes, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I put tape underneath my eyes, and I went ahead and primed my eyes with the Revlon Colorstay Eyeshadow Primer. All right, and let me go ahead and set the primer with this matte shade right here. This is called Polite. Okay, not that much kick up in this one. And I'm going to use my brush first because this is a little bit thicker, fluffier uh, blending brush. So I'm going to use this one first. Okay, now let's go in with this one right here, Aesthetic. I'm trying to not get the glare in there. This one right here, Aesthetic. Let's put that one as my transition shade. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Actually, this is a pretty color. I really like this color. Let me build it up some more. Now I'm going to go in with their brush. Do they have a name? Nope. No name on this brush. So it's, I guess it's their Perfusion Blending Eyeshadow Brush. And I will go in with Outspoken right here. Okay, yeah, there is some fallout. You can see the powder floating away. All right, now let's see how this brush works. It's really soft. And it's good because it's nice and precise where you want it. And I'm just going to put this in the crease, maybe just slightly above and slightly below. Actually, I do like this brush. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let me go back to the first brush and blend it out. And they seem to be blending well together. It's not looking muddy. Then I'm going to use my color switching pan here and do that really like this. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to go a little bit darker. I'm going to go with Outspoken right here and see how that will blend in. 
So, so far the three matte shades that I use does have some kick up to it. Okay, and I'm going to put that mostly in the corner and in the crease, a little bit below my crease, just halfway and see how that would work. And then what's ever left on my brush, just kind of bring it in a little bit more. That's a pretty color. I like that color. Okay. I think that is good. Now let me go back to the first brush again and kind of blend everything out above my crease. So there'll be no harsh lines. All right, so far I kind of like how they're blending together. So far so good. All right, which metallic shades should I use? Hmm, let me go with certain right here, this one right here, and kind of put that in the inner corner of my eye. And I will use my flat shader brush. Oh, that is a pretty color though. That is a pretty color. You know, I'm going to put that all over my lid. I think I like this color. I'm going to put this color all over my lid. And I'm going to use my finger. I always like using my fingers with metallic, so let me try that too. Yeah, that does give a little bit of extra punch for the metallics. I'm going to go ahead and use Bordeaux here, and I'm going to put that on the outer corner here. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use my flat shader brush. Let's try that. And just put that right here on the outer corner. More towards the outer corner and the middle. Oh, that one does have some fallout though. That one does have fallout. And that's why I like to put tape underneath my eyes and do my eyes first just to see if there's fallout because you know once you put on that foundation you don't want glitter and metallic shadows to mess it up. So I'm glad we did this first because you can see that it's on my cheeks right here and on the tape. Hmm. Okay, now I'm going to go in with Special on the Outer V to kind of give it some depth. I'm going to use the Sigma E36, just a small blending brush. And I'll list everything down below for you guys. And going in with Special, yeah, that one does have a lot of kick up there. Okay, this one's not as pigmented as I thought. But it is blending out very nice. They are blending out. But this one right here, special, doesn't have that much pigment to it, so you do have to build this one up. There is a lot of fallout with this eyeshadow. I mean, look at this right here. Let me do some cleaning and then put the rest of my makeup on, and then we will play with the lip cream, the lipstick and the lip cream. No, the lip pencil and the lip cream. All right, I'm back. I did everything except for the lips, and I went ahead and put some shadows underneath my eyes. First, I went in with the static and then blended it off with Outspoken and then bring it up to the top part of my lid to blend those colors in together. So I finished the look right there so now let's go with the lips. Okay it comes with a lip pencil and a lip cream. This one is matte peach and metal peach so let's go ahead and use the lip pencil right now. Now oh, that is pointy. All right, let me try overlining my lips to see if we can see that. That's as overlined as I'm going to get. Now let me try to fill in my lips. So, okay, that's enough of that. Now let's go for the lip cream. Okay, regular doe foot applicator for lip creams. It does smell, I'm smelling a little bit of something there. Hmm. This is like the fourth time I have to put it on. Okay, I had to build it up like four or five times, four or five coats on this. That is a little bit light and bright than what I'm used to, but we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. Okay. Yeah, that's a little too frosty for me. <laughs> But I will keep this on and see how long it will last. I may put a lip gloss on it because it is, I could already feel it kind of drying my lips up. So I will put a lip gloss on it, just a clear lip gloss. Maybe. We'll see how, how it goes. But I will do a check-in to let you see what the eyeshadows look like, to see how they held up, and for the lips. What time is it now? It is now 132. And let me go ahead and come in a little closer so you can see my eyeshadows and see this frosty lips. <laughs> now for the eyeshadow palette. 
All right, you do get nine shades in here, a mixture of mattes and shimmers, metallics. At first swatch, they are very soft, very buttery, I guess you could say. And there is kick up with this, so if that bothers you, you know, you may not like this, this palette, but with me, I'll just blow it off and I'm good to go. And they blend it out very well. You can see the colors, you know, you can see the different colors on my lid. Now the only one I had a problem with is this one right here, special, the last one here. That one it did take a while to build up on my outer corner right here. Yeah, so that one really wasn't as pigmented as the other shadows, but I really like certain and Bordeaux. You know, maybe I'll have a glass later myself, but... <laughs> And the brush that it comes with, I really like this brush. This one could really get into the crease to blend out the colors right there. This one didn't feel hard on the lid and it didn't drag my skin with me. I mean, there are some brushes that does that to me and, and when you're my age, you don't want to be pulling and squeezing and tugging your eyelids. So that is a really nice plus. Now for the lip pencil and the lip cream. Not my favorite. As I'm talking, it's still kind of tacky. And yeah, you can already see that the colors are coming off. I mean, yeah, not a pretty sight. So I can already tell you that the lip cream and the lip pencil, for me, it doesn't work out. You can already see that it's coming off. Yeah. So I probably won't even be putting lip gloss over this. But again, I will see how long it wears. But technically, it's really not wearing that long. I mean, what was it, 132? It's just five minutes later and it's already coming off. So this lip cream and lip pencil, sadly, sadly to say, is a no for me. And I can already tell you that now. I don't need a check-in with that one, so... Sorry about that, that one didn't work out. But I do have to say, this palette for $10 and the brush, for me, I think it's a good deal. The shadows are real pretty. I really do like this look. I really do like this look. This kit, it comes in three different shades. One was peach, the next one is glam, and I'll try to put a picture up here. And the other one is nude. You know, for $10, can't go wrong. Okay, this brand, I probably should have said this in the beginning, but it's a very inexpensive brand and you can find it at Target and online and I'll link uh, those websites down below for you guys. And they have really inexpensive palettes. For example, I believe their blush palette, I believe it has six shades and that's for $5. And they have a contour palette. I don't know if it's powder or cream, but that is also $5. I think the most expensive product they have is $20. And it's one of those, those kits, you know, where you lift up the lid and there's uh, makeup there and then, and then you could pull up the sides and there's eyeshadows and you open up a drawer and there's lip products in there, something like that. So all of that is $20. So, I mean, it's really good and expensive brand. And they also have other eyeshadow palettes. I believe they're like 24 pans, 24 shades in those. And I believe those are $10 too. So it is a really good inexpensive brand. Again, I will check in to let y'all see how the shadows are holding up and I will see you then. All right, it's an hour in and yeah, look at the lipstick. I can already tell you that this is not gonna be my favorite. Again, it's only been an hour in, but the lipstick is a no-go. But so far the eyeshadow's holding up. See you much later. <laughs> All right, doing a check in here and the eyeshadows are holding up pretty well. Let me zoom you in here. Let y'all see up close. Okay, the wind is picking up, but I'll try to make this quick. It's been eight hours, a good eight hours since I put the shadows on and it's held up pretty well. There was one, you know, one color in there that took a while to build up, but all in all, it's a pretty good palette. I'm really pleased with it. And I really like the brush, the brush, it's not a hard brush. It's very soft. It blended the colors very well in the crease. It's a good crease brush. And it didn't drag my eyelids, which is a plus for me. Now for the lip pencil and the lip cream. Yeah, that's going to be a no for me. The lip pencil, it wasn't the right shade 
for my skin tone. The formula is not bad. The formula of it's not bad. But the lip cream, if the color was not right, so I can't fault that because it didn't come with a, kit, with a kit. But the formula of it, for one, it took several layers to build it up. Two, the formula just wasn't right. You could see the wrinkles on my lip. Three, it didn't last, not even an hour. And I guess we can go with four. After, you know, I smacked my lips together, it just came apart. It just wasn't right. Uh, you can kind of see a little bit of the remnants of it on top of my lip. I don't know if you can see that. But for $10 for the eyeshadow palette and the brush, it's not bad. It's not bad. And some of you may like the lip pencil and the lip cream. I know the wind picked up, but I'm going to try to finish this because the mosquitoes are coming out. But all in all, I like the eyeshadow kit. I like uh, the eyeshadow palette and the brush. But the lip pencil and the lip cream, granted for me it didn't work out, but maybe for someone else it may work for them. But yeah, it didn't work out too well for me. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review and you find it helpful. And I really do appreciate every one of you. I really do. All right, you guys, I'm going to go inside before the mosquitoes come in because <laughs> it's going to be really bad. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Or evening, I should say. Have a wonderful evening. All right, bye-bye.